All right, hello, welcome. Today we're gonna to show the polygon tool. Um, this is showing inscribed and circumscribed, and let's get started. All right, first of all, you'll notice I'm kind of zoomed way the heck out. I'm really far out. So I just wanna show like a fun tool called the F tool. If you hit F on your keyboard, it's like a focus tool. It'll automatically focus whatever you got on your screen and fit it, or actually it's probably the fit tool, a focus tool, sorry. That's that idea. All right, so to show the polygon tool, I'm gonna start a sketch. Um, I hit the right plane, and then the, the sketch appears in the background. Um, so to get that, so it kind of cleans it up, I'm gonna hit the P on my keyboard, and I'm gonna hit N on my keyboard, and that kind of squares it up and makes it go. So I pretty much do that every single time I draw something or anything. Um, and then kind of zoom in and out of my mouse. All right, so the, the this polygon tool is right here. There's two kinds. There's inscribed and circumscribed. So the inscribed means the polygon's inside the circle. Circumscribed means like the polygon's uh, surrounded by a circle. So inscribed, you kind of just click. You say inscribed, and you click and you drag, and then there you go. And then you'll see there's a circle inside. After I click, I can kind of rotate my mouse and say how many sides I want this polygon to have. So four, five, I can just go clockwise to go bigger, go counterclockwise to go smaller. And if I click again, there I go. So I got a four side polygon. Um, if I want to change this, I can hit escape. I can like, turn this tool off, or I can hit escape, and I can double click. I can say, you know what, I don't want a square, I want an octagon. So I make it eight, I hit enter, and now it's an octagon. If I say I want 100 side gone, um, I don't know what that is, but it looks like that. It's just basically a circle. Uh, okay, I have one of the circle. I just draw a circle. So uh, let's say I want a, a pentagon, so a five sided five sided polygon. There you go. If I hit F, I can focus in and get, and get the pentagon. There's the pentagon. All right, so there's, there's that idea. So you'll see the pentagon goes on the outside of the circle. Um, the other polygon tool is a circumscribe. Um, so if I do the opposite, I can go click that, click, um, and I get six. I basically get the size. Um, there it is. And you'll see the difference is the circle now is on the outside, where the pentagon's on the outside. And again, if I want to change this, I have to turn the tool off. And then I can go in here and change it to whatever I want. If I want to be a triangle, I can say three, and it's a triangle. I want it to be seven side of the something on there you know. um, so um, that's kind of that's kind of the deal with polygon so polygons are kind of fun and they all go based on the center point um, and they kind of follow the rules um, and i think if you wanted to like, erase the the guidelines that kind of the construction lines you'll notice these are kind of dotted lines they're called construction lines if you right click and you say delete them you can delete them as well if you don't want to look at them that's fine um, and I think like basically any of these tools, if you turn like a line, you want it to be a construction line, it's like not really there, it's just helping you draw other things. Um, you can just click on this button here and that turns it into a construction line. Um, let's see, construction line. So I think you turn on the construction line, then you turn on the tool, and then, then, you, do, then you do the construction line. So the construction lines are just there to like guide the construction of the, of the part you're trying to make and not really part of the part. So later on it'll become important, but um, that's the idea of the construction line. So you just kind of see that these construction lines. Yeah, all right, that's the polygon tool. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, good luck. See you.